This morning I've dropped on the Russell Coastal Defence Scheme while the tide's out and the beach is exposed so I've just had to stop and do this video for you because it's well it's quite astonishing. So if you if you're familiar with this area and you know this job you'll know that that wall that you can see there is the um, intermediate wall so that's a, a wave wall it's got a curve on it so it curves like that so that when waves hit it from this side they come up and they come back and they reflect back onto the beach so you can see underneath that there are some steps which are uh, when I say some steps they're, they're quite substantial we'll we'll go back up there when we've finished and just have a look from that middle section and then tucked at the back of the rocks which you can't see from here is the the lower walkway the the summer berm it's called so the 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 steps join up to the beach with another access step and then that rock revetment goes right down in the beach to meet up with these rocks here and that's the reason why i've just had to stop and just just do this little video because this this bit here from there to there is where the beach is built up because of the effectiveness of all of this revetment and all of these rock groins in reducing turbulence next to the shore and keeping the beach stable so this is one of the groin crossover ramps in fact there's another one there this is one of the groin crossover ramps and you can see it's just about submerged by the beach so underneath that can you see here where you've got this sloped concrete there's matching concrete at this side and then at the other side as well so that you've got a proper ramp and then underneath all this sand there's a, a flat concrete level and a footpath that takes you to join up to the steps so this is literally all beach that's built up and this groin has just about disappeared it's been eroded a bit on this side because of the rough weather that we've had recently in fact you can see where the beach normally would be because you can see the algae on the stones so this line here where the algae is that's where the beach would normally come to and all these clean rocks that are below it are where the beach is eroded probably largely in part due to these big big winds and, and storms we've had in the last couple of weeks I was actually fortunate enough to work with the team that built this job I did some of the public engagement stuff and the, the site engineer always said that the rock groins and the revetment were like an iceberg and that they should just be a tiny little bit floating on the top surface and the rest of it is underneath the beach and this is this is the first of the rock grinds you can see here where um, we've just walked from Russell School so this is the first rock grind heading north in this job so obviously this is doing protection for the rest of the scheme and you can see that this one's clobbered it more than the next one i'll just zoom in and then you can see that next groin because that's got some exposed clean stones at the bottom but nowhere near as bad as this one and a bonus ferry as well just to improve the view and some clouds over the lake district and barrow so this pole at the end of the groin is a marker pole and that shows anybody that's using the water for shipping where the end of the rocks are and I'm just hesitating because I'm just wondering whether we can get a little bit nearer to it so you can see just how big it is because it's a whopper I've got my I've got my old trainers on so I'm not too fussy about my feet but I, I draw the line at getting properly wet we'll stop here anyway you can see how tall that is look at the people I mean, admittedly they're a little bit further out but look how look how big that is relative to the rocks these look at these jiggy jiggy things <laughs> do you know they're lovely these little birds I think they're turnstones 
I think sandalins are the white ones, aren't they? And they're really cute. They love these rocks. They're just really used to people. So it, they don't seem to be bothered by people being near them and making a noise. Look cutie. We get them on the seafront, walking up and down, looking for little bits of food. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Getting distracted by wildlife. Yeah, so when you think that that marker pole is at sea level, practically, <laughs> gives you some idea of how deep the water is, doesn't it? In fact, that's interesting as well. You can see, you might not be able to see because the because of the the light, but no, I don't think you can. But on to me, in in proper daylight and proper vision, about halfway up there, there's a line where barnacles have grown, which is obviously sort of mean mean high water ish. So when it's when it's blowing a holy and it's in a long way, it's in a long way. Look at these. Cheeky. Lovely. <laughs> I don't know whether they wanted to be on video or what. Little sweeties. Yeah, so I thought I'd, I, I just needed to show you that. Because it's quite... It's quite um, amazing how it's, how it's come up a long way. I'm just, I'm just wobbling a bit while I get back through the mud. Right, so I'll go to the end of these rocks. And I'll just show you how how deep low we are on the beach relative to the sea wall because it gives you some idea then of how much water there is when the tide comes in and why you really, really, really don't want to be underneath it. It all looks so so innocent a landscape when the tides out and it's a still day and then another day people die. In fact somebody died a, a while ago didn't they? Trying to rescue a dog. 50 old, 55 year old woman I think. Another piece of sea glass. Got to pin that up. Sorry. Ooh. Now I've got sand underneath my shoes so I can't get up the ramp. We'll go the we'll go the rock climbing way. That's it. Right, so this is the summer berm. I'm actually stood on the berm and you can see how high the steps are. And then if I just swivel around, look at this um, rain falling over the lakes. Wow. If I just swivel around, you can see how low that marker pole is and the beach, and that's the crossover ramp that we've just come from. That one there. So if you've enjoyed this video, plenty more where this one came from. Don't forget to subscribe to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel and tune in for the next ramble round the foul coast. See you later. Bye.